Dr. Sandhya, from, I'm a fellow at Akhand Jyoti Eye Hospital, Bihar, and uh, uh, today my topic of, uh, of case is uh, managing a rare case of an adult motile worm in anterior chamber in a limited resource setting from Bihar. Um, a filarial worm is a natural parasite of the domestic and wild animals. Humans are accidentally infected. It is mainly a uh, disease of lymphatic system and it rarely present as intraocular filariasis in otherwise asymptomatic patient without any constitutional symptoms. The most common clinical presentation of ocular filariasis is chemosis, late edema, uh, or vital cellulitis, anterior uveitis, or worm in the anterior chamber. Our case is a, he is a 31 year old male patient presented in our OPD with pain, redness and swelling of the lids with decreased vision in the left eye for four days. The, uh, the similar history is present in the left eye for last one month. Uh, he was previously on antiparasitic medication for last five years, but stopped for now, and there is no supporting relevant document was available. His uh, be uh, best corrected visual acuity in the right eye uh, is 6.6 and left eye 6.60. His IOP on GAT uh, was 11 and 40. On examination, slit lamp examination, right eye was within normal limit, and in uh, left eye, conjunctiva got circumciliary congestion, cornea got haze, and in anterior chamber, a long coiled opalescent active motile worm was there. Pupil was mild, um, uh, mid dilated and sluggishly reacting to light. Lens was clear and fundus was within normal limit. This is the motile worm in the AC. Here it is a video where I can show you how it, it was moving when I was capturing it. Yeah, this is the motile worm. Surprise, uh, fundus and OCT macula was normal. So a provisional diagnosis of unilateral secondary uveitic glaucoma with a live intraocular parasite was made. On systemic examination, elephantiasis of right leg with skin discoloration was there. Hydrocele was present. There's no f history of fever uh, or swelling around the eyes. No enlarged lymph nodes were found. His complete blood count and erythrocytic sedimentation rate are within normal limits. No e eosinophilia was there. On PBS also, no microfilaria was detected. No ova adult worm found on stool examination. Medical, we started him on uh, oral steroids. I dropped prednisolone one hourly, timolol BD, and we gave intravenous uh, mannitol 20% uh, and planned the surgical removal of the worm next day. On the, surprisingly, what happened on the next day, we got um, uh, the patient was complaining of pain, but worm was not uh, was not present in the anterior chamber. We uh, we did the gonioscopy, and then we found that the worm was coiled on itself, and it was lying still in the anterior chamber. This is I can show you here inferiorly. Uh, it is lying on the slit lamp examination, and uh, in the gonioscopy we can find the long coiled worm in the AC. Uh, we took him to the OR. Then a nasal side port was made. Uh, then we able to uh, detach the worm from the uh, angle with by Sinsky hook, and the uh, worm was freely floating in the anterior chamber by after putting the viscoelastic substance in the anterior chamber. Um, this is the worm removed in toto. Considering the diameter of the cornea, it got the triple size of the corneal di diameter. But the worm was so fragile, and we could not uh, able to measure the length of with the help of caliper. The dead worm was preserved in formalin, and we sent it to the microbiology lab for its identification. On the first post-operative day, mild conjunctival conjunction with corneal edema was there. Anterior chamber got mild reaction. We have started him modern, uh, we have continued the same pre-operative management. And after one week, we found the eye to be quiet and left eye vision got 6-6 and N6. However, as the worm was swollen and fragile, microbiological investigation did not confirm the subspecies of the uh, filarial worm. We referred him to the general physician for, re and, uh, for regular follow-up. These are my references.